Welcome to yet another episode of Trending Now. I'm your host Bharat, who's going to be giving you a lowdown on the top trending news of the day. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so the story that we're beginning with today is actually that of Nick Jonas, who's of course married to our very own pride, Priyanka Chopra. And they've been married uh, for quite some time, but uh, Jonas Brothers were performing here in India earlier this year at the Lollapalooza Festival, the 2024 edition. And we had uh, Nick Jonas, uh, who was also featuring as a guest on Jimmy Fallon's show, The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon. And he was talking about uh, what he's fondly addressed as here in India. He's addressed as Jiju, of course, that's the term that we use for brother-in-laws. And here's a little clip of the Jonas Brothers being on stage and Nick being addressed as Jiju. Quite a fun one. Well, let's move to the next story of the day. Come on. Okay, so our second story for today is actually something that we covered yesterday as well. It's the talk of the town. We're talking about the epic saga of reunions. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. coming back as Doctor Doom in the MCU. The Russo brothers coming back. The core screenwriter, Mr. Stephen McKinley, coming back. But of course, to get these big forces back in the helm of things, uh, Marvel had to shell out a lot of money. Uh, there are rough estimates of the Russo brothers, Joe and Anthony Russo, being paid $80 million dollars to direct the two movies that are going to begin production in London, unlike Atlanta for the previous two Avengers movies in 2025 for a May 2026 and May 2027 release. And of course, Robert Downey Jr. is also going to be laughing his way to the bank alongside screenwriter Stephen McKilly. But I'm sure these movies are going to be big, big, big money spinners and might also break the records of Avengers Endgame. I'd love to know from you. You can comment down and say if you feel Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars are going to break box office records, which I'm sure they are going to. Let's move forward to the third story for today's trending now episode. Come on. Okay, so the third story is that of uh, Taylor Swift, who's basking in the glory of the ERAS tour. Well, she was performing in Germany recently at the Olympic Stadium, and uh, she was expecting a crowd of 50,000 people, which definitely came. Uh, people flocked in, but not only in the stadium. Uh, the numbers were really outnumbered. We had people on the Olympic Hill as well, about 25,000 people, more than half of the crowd inside. 75,000 people in total watching this epic concert. Concert. And uh, Taylor Swift was quite empathetic to, to all the people uh, who were watching this concert and said that if I can help you all with some towels, some water, some shade, because it's a green area, grassy area that all of them were sitting on. And she was quite empathetic to them. She was saying that as long as I'm playing to a big crowd, it really doesn't matter. So big props to Taylor Swift and her team for the same. Well, that's it for today's episode of Trending Now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Bharat. And we do this almost four times a week right here on our YouTube channel, Radio 1 International. So while you're at it, please do subscribe to our channel. We put out some incredible content for your viewing pleasure every day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. 94.3 Radio 1.